Y'all don't, y'all don't care. Y'all don't care as long as somebody black constantly being dragged around here. And the audacity of you, Heather Hill, the audacity of you, the audacity of you, lady. Yeah, look through the camera, look real good. I see your cheeks getting red. The audacity of you to even head, spearhead a movement to try to find somebody. And then you be the first one sitting at the dinner. So I guess you're going to try to find Tehran and then go sit at the dinner that they have for him when he's not here no more. Is that what you're going to do? Because that's what you did with Marie. That's exactly what you did with Marie. That's what you did with Marie's. Uh, if you have a question for City Councilor Heather Hill, you can click the raise your hand icon in the webinar or you can type a question in the Q&A module. I do see um, Tanisha Hudson has raised her hand and Tanisha, I'm gonna let you know I'm not gonna call on you. Um, and, and let me tell you why. I think you had plenty to say last night, had a good opportunity with City Council during two matters in front of them uh, for public comment. And at this point, um, I don't, I don't wanna bring you on the program um, because I, I think we need to follow in those um, venues, council procedures, and that includes addressing council as a whole and not attacking individual members of council. And um, for this program, it's not a public meeting, and so um, I'm gonna not, not call on you. If somebody else would like to raise their hand, I'd be happy to call on you and bring you into the conversation. On May 19th, there was a public 360 city meeting, okay? I was on that meeting. There were some things discussed the night before at city council. Hey, everyone that's just joining, I just I want to share this with Charlottesville real quick. Just want to tell y'all about the city, how messed up they are in so many ways, on so many levels. So on May 19th, there was a meeting and Brian Wheeler decided that he was going to tell me I couldn't speak at this meeting. Uh, Heather Hill, who was the former vice mayor, was sitting right beside him, which she knew better. She knew to tell him that he was supposed to let me speak because you violated my First Amendment right. So the city decides that they want to reach out to do a settlement, which I'm not settling. We're going to court. I want this to be public, and I hope that they're watching. And we had a meeting to discuss this settlement. Furthermore, let me just let y'all know that nobody apologized. There was no public apology. Nobody said anything about it. Not the mayor, not the vice mayor, nobody. Not the city manager, the assistant city manager, nobody said nothing about it. Now they want to issue an apology. It's a month later, and you just issuing an apology. Nobody went public about it. They probably didn't go public about it because they know I was going to sue anyway. But let me tell y'all about this meeting that we had yesterday. Now, instead of the attorney focusing on me and what I was requesting, right, this man was focusing on what the attorney that was sitting beside me wanted. Like, this is how white supremacy works. And I just don't think that people pay attention to the things that be happening, right? Like, right in front of us. Like, we don't pay. I, I'm just a person that I pick up on this type of stuff really, really quick. And so when they came back with what they were willing to give me, they were addressing everything that that basically Jeff was saying that he wanted or what was his concern. They never once addressed me, the victim. 